Hey, what's up? Uh, this is an update for uh, a new project that I'm working on, and it's called Focal Point. Uh, and Focal Point in, is an interaction design framework for virtual spaces, whether it be VR or AR. <clears throat> and it's based on some of my earlier work. Um, if you're interested in watching that, that's called Spatial Computing. I'm developing this work over here at the NYU Media Research Lab. It's awesome. Uh, one thing that it has is an access to a lot of really great hardware, it, one of which is the Vive. The Vive is designed in such a way that it's very congruous with my design aesthetic, so uh, I'm really excited to be uh, have an opportunity to play with that. But <clears throat> more importantly, the M NYU Media Research Lab has access to lots of other really incredible people, um, a crowd of really talented folk who uh, are always giving amazing feedback and helping me uh, push this along in the right direction. My eventual plan for this whole project is to release uh, an open source asset um, for the Unity Asset Library. The design principles are super simple. In fact, they were so simple that you just sort of apply a base layer of code and it leads to a lot of, uh, it generates a lot of really interesting uh, interactions based on that base layer of code. Um, so that's that base layer of code is what I'm going to be ideating on and making as simple as possible so that um, developing in VR is as much of a joy as moving in moving freely in three-dimensional space. Now the main operating assumption behind the principle of focal point is that human beings are really great at identifying and communicating points in three-dimensional space. So I can identify this point in three-dimensional space or I can just point over there and say hey look you know look at that corner of that piece of furniture. So it's with this ability that human beings can communicate and move their attention around in three-dimensional spaces with these focal points that this design framework uh, is laid upon. Now the objects you're manipulating are going to act differently based on how many focal points you apply. So if you just apply one focal point you're going to be able to translate that object around. And then two or more focal points are going to rotate and scale that object. This creates really beautiful, simple, and obvious natural interactions. And uh, I hope that it sort of brings the joy of free three-dimensional movement into your VR spaces. Now, one of the really cool things about this whole focal point thing is that the idea is totally scalable. You can take things that are conventionally environments, like the world that you're standing on, or the environment that you find yourself in, and you can move them around with the same principles with great ease. As I said before, human beings will either identify a point by you know, saying this particular point right here, but they can also point off into the distance. So with the focal point design framework, in order to travel long distances, all you gotta do is point off into the distance, actuate a focal point on the ground, and move that point towards you. Furthermore, if you wanna go really far distances, just like in Google Maps, uh, you know how you zoom out all the way so you can see all of America and then zoom into the city that you wanna see, with this focal point paradigm, you can zoom out of the world, and then you can zoom back into the part of the world that you want to go to. I think this is a really compelling and natural way to move around, uh, and I, in my view, it beats out teleportation. I've always thought teleportation was this weird, confusing, and kind of jostling way to move around in VR spaces. Um, mostly because in the real world we never teleport, right? I never just move from here to there in the blink of an eye. I'm always transitioning between spaces and it's this transitioning that creates a narrative so that my brain can construct uh, an understanding of how that three-dimensional space works. So I've shared this around with a number of people in the lab and they've all remarked on how natural and physically engaging it is and actually more important to me because I was a little afraid of this on the get-go, um, nobody reports sickness from that particular movement. And my theory is that it has to do with the fact that your body is the one controlling the um, scalar movement from here to there. So uh, because your body is proprioceptively grounded in how your environment moves, uh, I guess you just don't get sick. The next proof of concept that I worked on was um, taking this focal point principle and applying it to objects that have physics. Um, so there are rigid bodies that I threw in and it made it so that you know when you when you cast something and, and let go of the trigger, it would actually throw that object. Um, that made these objects feel super real and very physically substantive. Uh, and, you know, it really ties back into my physical understanding of how three-dimensional objects work. Uh, because these objects drop at the rate of gravity that I'm very familiar with. Uh, so they become very, very real feeling.
All in all, my hope is that this design pattern makes it really easy to create really enjoyable and physically engaging virtual experiences. Um, hopefully the code is going to help other people sort of step up to that um, uh, level of engagement faster. Uh, right now, as I said, the code is not up, but um, you know, please hit up my... Well, if you're watching this video in the future, it might be up. Um, but if you do want notifications as to when it goes up, um, then you know, jump on my mailing list, and I'm going to send out a blast whenever I publish that. Otherwise, I'd be interested in any feedback, if anybody has any. Uh, just leave a message down below in the comments, or just message me directly. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching.